What's going on there, guys? Missy Mimi's here jumping in. It is Friday, June 11th, 2021, about about 1 o'clock p.m. West Coast time. Uh, got some concerning movement going on here in California. Uh, s new swarms have started up over here at the Salton Sea region within the Brawley Seismic Zone. Um popping off pretty well and starting to move up here to the southern end of the San Andreas Fault Zone. Um, we've also got a lot of movement uh, on the San Jacinto Fault and a, a lot of swarming also on the Elsinore Fault Zone um, as well as some concerning uh, movement along the San Andreas Fault. So we've got a, uh, a microquake here um, on the uh, southern section of the uh, San Andreas and then some movement alongside it also still within the San Jacinto fault zone here and then the Waterman Canyon fault zone over here some swarms but have a little microquake here um, near Arvin California just just south of Bakersfield but this movement is is interesting not only do we have this going on down here we've got movement on the creeping section of the san andreas fault uh some microquake activity but but activity nonetheless um and it's very interesting very interesting so we've got some swarms here uh near uh watsonville Largest being that 3.3 that struck this morning at about 3.45 p.m. Or a.m., excuse me, p.m. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, seven kilometers below the surface, uh, just near uh, Gilroy there, too. So, and I believe there was a, yeah, there was a 2.2 before that. Um, and then some aftershocks uh, that followed here. But what's concerning is this continued movement uh, that is going on down here along the uh, the creeping section near uh, the Bear Valley Fault area. And also, so, what in the world is this? Quarry Blast and Portola? Hmm. Uh, some, some small microquake activity here outside of San Jose. And then a little microquake near Morgan Hill. So, got some interesting movement going on right now. Uh, also, some uh, still got some swarms going on here within the geysers area. We'll get into the tremor map in a second. Uh, it could be definitely playing a part in some of this movement. Uh, I believe this area is locked. Um, for sure, possibly so. Uh, 1.6 uh, struck this yesterday near uh, last night near uh, Petrolia, California, 15.4 kilometers below the surface. So kind of down there a little, not super deep, not deep, but it down there uh, within the bottom of the, uh, the subduction zone here, nonetheless. Um, and then there was some movement last night uh, 2.6 within the uh, the Blanco transfer form fault zone and then uh, 2.8 near uh, outside of Brandon Oregon or Bandon Oregon excuse me uh, last night as well so some movement within this area here uh, of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone but uh this is this is the uh, mega thrust area but a little microquake popping off here above medford and then some movement here uh some more sw uh, small swarms happening on mount hood uh we're keeping an eye on that you see it a lot better here I hear my little one calling me, so I gotta I gotta cut this kind of short, guys. Um, 
some some movement up here in Washington as well. Uh, what is this other event? Hmm, that's a new one for me. <laughs> I was thinking maybe a quarry blast outside of Seattle, but that's geez, who knows. <laughs> but yeah, some microquakes popping off here also. So um, taking a look at tremor. Um, it makes kind of sense. Uh, its epicenters have slightly increased compared to uh, last night. It increased. It was the epicenters were 82, and they've moved more south. Uh, they were up here in Vancouver Island. There were 39 epicenters. Um, most of the move the the tremor up here and then a little bit of movement down here near Medford. And now it's pretty much localized you last night, as of last night, an increased uh, movement there, or uh, down below the surface um, in, within the Medford area, so down into the Northern California here, and then over here at the uh, locked section of the Cascadia subduction zone, uh, the, like the end of it, kind of where the, uh, San Andreas fault, if you will, um, starts to come into this area here. So a lot of interesting movement. We are keeping an, a very close eye on California right now. Um, I would say that we are on a earthquake watch just with this significant uptick, um, and not just the movement, within this region but the movement up here and then we've got some movement going on here uh, some more movement over here in Ridgecrest um, kind of close to the Garlock Fault um, so let's see Olancha seeing some microquake activity near Death Valley National Park and then some uh, also some movement here near the Long Valley Fault Zone um, Long Valley Volcano and uh, Mammoth Lakes seeing some swarming activity. A, uh, a little microquake here near Mono Lake. Um, some increased movement also out here in uh, the Mina, Nevada region uh, near outside of uh, Tonopah. Otherwise, um, Carson, ooh, Carson City seeing some, some activity. Uh, going to keep an eye on that one too um, because the Carson City Fault uh, is part of the four length fault zones like the Genoa Fault System and so on and so forth that I discussed um, a couple videos ago that I did of, about the Lake Tahoe earthquakes and the fault, the fault system out here that breaks into four pieces four parts it may break up into four different parts but it's still you know it's still connected it is very capable of producing a large quake i believe it was like a 7.5 plus so um carson city seeing some micro quake a micro quake there and then uh there's one out here uh near uh Urington, nevada so um lake tahoe's been quiet again but with all this uptick in movement on the west coast, we are going to be watching these areas pretty closely. Um, other than that, uh, seeing some some movement up here in the Montana, Idaho region into Wyoming. Um, let's see. Uh, I believe this is Yellowstone area, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, seeing a little bit of swarming activity there um, at the uh, elephant back fault zone outside of uh, Yellowstone Lake um, we can we'll check out the seismographs and um, if any anything else starts to pop off uh, I'll have the earth master do something uh, he'll do something later on today if he has the time to uh, he's pretty busy this week, pretty busy, pretty busy tonight uh, with graduation going on. So um, here I am, happy to jump in. Uh, let's see, yeah, so an another little uh, microquake there um, in the Montana region. So uh, yes, we will be keeping an eye on things, guys. Um, like I said, I am I am issuing a earthquake watch for the 
for the Bay Area, probably down, um, down into uh, San Diego, like just that that whole area is moving pretty decently. So we're gonna keep a really close eye on it, especially like I said with the uptick down here and then now an uptick up here within within the. Uh, oh, what's this? Another little quake there. Okay, that's near Lakeport. Okay, but um, but yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. Um, earthquake watch, I'm going to say, for the West Coast. Um, Cascadia, um, what we're going to keep an eye on as well. With the all the movement, you know, that's going on on the uh, eastern side of the uh, Pacific Plate here along the West Coast. So... It's due to the lack of movement still out here in the Japan region. Uh, seeing a little 4.4 in the Kuril Islands, um, which was 66.2 kilometers below the surface. Um, otherwise, uh, I believe yesterday there was like a 5 or so, but it's still just, it's not enough. Not enough pressure to relieve us. We are still on target. Um... They are, we are seeing, there was a 5.2 uh, this morning uh, outside of Taiwan, 7.4 kilometers. Uh, a lot of deep movement going on, though, on the western part of the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, Indonesia uh, seeing, seeing a 4.4, uh, 528 kilometers below the surface. Um, and a 5.5 as well, 64 kilometers below the surface. Uh, that one was last night. And then 5.1 uh, this morning outside of Papua New Guinea. Um, they've been seeing some deep movement as well. 107.7 kilometers uh, below the surface um, there. And then Fiji, I believe, yeah. Uh, 4.1 very deep also 562.9 kilometers uh, below the surface so this area is no stranger to deep movement but it's been lacking for sure and when we're seeing quiet when it's quiet on this side of the pacific uh ring of fire usually it's it's an uptick here so um, that's all I'm going to cover for now. Um, still seeing some activity up here in uh, Alaska uh, following that. I um, believe a lot of this could be aftershock activity within the region of that r recent quake. Um, some interesting, even though some interesting movement happening uh, up here in the northern or the northern part of uh, Ala or the central part of Alaska, kind of moving up into here. Uh, they had a 3.1, 17.4 kilometers uh, below the surface. So uh, we'll keep watching this region since it is definitely no stranger lately to some larger quakes. Uh, let's see, what's this? 4.1 in uh, Canada, kind of up here, uh, Fort uh, McPherson. So 10 kilometers below the surface. But other than that, you guys... Um, the Aleutian Trench is seeing some activity. Um, it is, is, some of it is shallow, some of it are subsurface, some of it is showing deep movement. Um, so, and that could be playing a part in what is going on, the lack of movement also out here. So, we're going to, uh, we're going to keep an eye on stuff and... Hold on, please. Hold on. One second. One second. Sit and I'll show you. But just one second, okay? Please. Just one second. I'm almost done, all right? Um, so, yeah. So, other than that, you guys, not uh, the West Coast, you are on target. What is this? Was this from yesterday? Yes, I believe the Earthmaster might have covered that. 5.7 in, uh, yeah, in Costa Rica. I remember that. Okay, we'll head on over there, Missy. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go, you guys. Uh, we're still seeing an uptick in activity over here, still in in Puerto Rico. Um, you guys, we're still keeping an eye on that. Um, 
because very capable also of producing in this subduction zone area a large quake. So um, have a safe day out there, you guys. I will uh, I will chat with you guys a little later. If the earth if the earth master gets too busy, then I will just jump back in. What in the world is that? Hold on. Okay, well, I'm going to call it, guys, because I've got a little one who is wanting me to do things. So <laughs> have a safe day out there, you guys. Um, wherever you're watching from, have a good morning, good night, uh, so on and so forth. And uh, we'll chat with you guys a little later. But, yes, um, anything else big happens, we will be. I will be right back on. And uh, so stay safe out there. Uh, peace out.